Hi there, it's Lyndall Pynchon, Canine Naturopath from Canine Vitality and welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you for being here. If you're new, thank you for stopping by. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and welcome back to all my regulars. Now, how does your dog's gut help with anxiety? Now, with so many dogs experiencing some type of anxiety, we do need to consider gut health as one of the main factors that influences the internal control of anxious and nervy behavior. Now today, let's take a look at how the gut influences this anxious pattern through what's known as the gut-brain axis and how we can reduce anxiety by supporting this naturally. So stay tuned to learn more. So while among other things, stress, of course, can lead to gut imbalances, poor gut health can in turn contribute to further stress patterns. Now, some of you may have heard of the gut-brain access. Now, this might sound a bit complex, but think of this as a line of communication between your dog's gut and their brain, a little bit like a highway. Now, while part of this role is around signaling hunger, it plays a much greater role than this. Now, studies have found that your dog's gut actually does continue to function as part of their brain. And many of the important neurotransmitters or chemical messengers are actually created within the digestive system and the overall health of the gut, along with how diverse your dog's microbiome is, will strongly influence their mental well-being. Now, the gut is often referred to as the second brain or the enteric nervous system, as it's got such a strong influence on both mood and brain function, as I said. Now, this is often why, as humans, we might feel butterflies when nervous in our tummy or other anxious symptoms. Now, one of the key parts of this gut-brain connection is known as the vagus nerve, which is the longest cranial nerve in your dog's body. Now, it plays a role in regulating the parasympathetic nervous system or rest and digest system, helping your dog's body to relax and recharge. Now, while it performs many functions, this vagus nerve is like a messenger relaying information from the gut to the brain by letting the brain know what state the gut is in. And of course, the gut microbiome itself with all the variety of bacteria found here produce short chain fatty acids, which help the brain and gut communicate more effectively with each other. So what happens when the gut gets out of balance? How does this affect this gut-brain connection? Now, it was once thought that anxiety and depression was the cause of gut imbalances like irritable bowel, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, and other digestive disturbances. But now it's believed to be the other way around, as in the gut imbalances actually lead to changes in mood, such as that anxiety pattern. Now, it seems that when your dog experiences these gastrointestinal type symptoms, that the gut will send signals to the central nervous system, which in turn triggers mood changes. Now, this is particularly seen with IBS or irritable bowel syndrome in terms of dogs um, developing anxiety and depression. So while there can be other causes, of course, of anxiety, uh, how balanced your dog's gut is will determine their level of mental health. So what can we do to keep the gut brain access or connection happy and help reduce that anxiety that might be caused by an out of balanced gut? Now, like any health issue, we want our dogs to be eating a very natural, grain-free, um, process-free diet. That's the key there. But in addition to this, when it comes to the gut, it's essential to focus on nutrition. So making sure, in addition to that, that your dog's microbiome has a diverse level of bacteria by adding in things like pre and probiotic rich foods, such as your kefir, fermented veggies, and other fermented foods. Now, if your dog is not used to these, has never eaten them before, it's really important to start slowly, very small amounts, and build this up. Start by adding just a little into the diet a few times a week, and then increase from there. Now, only small amounts are really required to gain great benefits for the level of uh, beneficial bacteria in the gut. So in, uh, on top of that, bone broth, of course, is also highly beneficial here for gut brain access health as it's rich in an amino acid known as glycine, which can really help reduce inflammation in the gut and therefore benefit the gut brain connection. Now, adding broth daily or even just a few times a week as well to your dog's diet is going to make a big difference there. 
Now what about polyphenols? Now polyphenols are antioxidant chemicals found in fruits and veggies, especially berries, apples, spinach, garlic and olive oil. Now adding some of these regularly to the diet can add extra antioxidant support to help reduce the inflammation associated in the gut and improve that overall brain health function shiitake mushrooms now these are rich in vitamin b6 which is a crucial vitamin to help the production of serotonin which is often referred to as that feel-good hormone in your dog's gut now this can be added by way of the actual mushrooms themselves or you can get a powder or tincture which i like to use myself and omega-3 fats also help keep this access healthy as these fats fats help to promote gut health in general and are really a great anti-inflammatory so oily fish in the diet, of course, is a great way to get this into your dog a few times a week as well. And of course, we can also look to use beautiful herbs. Now here, look for peppermint, ginseng, ginkgo biloba, rosemary, magnolia, and lemon balm. Now these all help improve circulation and energy production, reduce inflammation in the gut, improve gut microbiome, and improve overall brain health and mood and function. So by focusing on the right type of nutrition, as well as adding in certain foods and herbs, we can actually improve the overall gut health, of course, as well as this specific gut brain access and reduce that anxiety pattern in your dog by reducing those digestive symptoms, as we've talked about earlier. And if you've got a dog that's suffering from anxiety or digestive issues or both, because they go hand in hand, I'd love to hear from you in the comment below. Please tell me your experience. If you'd like some help too, feel free to reach out to me. All my details are below and I am open for any bookings. Guys, I do hope you found this short video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share so we can get more content out on YouTube. I hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are and I look forward to catching up with you in another video. I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you. Bye for now.